SPD emergency. Y'all remember that shit? Dino Thunder, power up. Ha! Y'all remember that? Hey, we here talking about some Power Rangers. Look, I'm about to be a nerd in this one because I love me some Power Rangers. Now, I hopped off the Power Ranger train during Samurai. I thought that's when they fell off, but we about to find out. When did Power Rangers really fall off? The Rise and Fall of Power Rangers by T.O.Q. Ridge Road. Road. Something. When did you start watching Power Rangers? For generations now, the Fox kids of the 90s, the Disney kids of the 2000s, the me. Nickelodeon kids of the kinda 2010s, me. and now the Netflix kids of the 2020s. Television shows have been a main source of entertainment and typically would come in two packages, cartoons and sitcoms. Mm -hmm. Now, various shows from both of those groups have defined people's childhoods. But what many people forget is that not all kids shows were cartoons or sitcoms. Yeah. In between them, you had live action shows with the real life visuals of sitcoms and the experience explosive action of cartoons. It doesn't seem as though these types of shows were as defining as the other two, but there might be a reason for that. There is one show that has been mostly dominant within this genre. One show that has been airing for multiple generations of kids rather than just one or two. One show that ha and that one Man, show come on, Power is Rangers, Power we know. Rangers. Come on, get to the Having point. had such a fun concept from the very- Bro, I, oh my god, I love this movie, bro. When they brought every Power Ranger from all of the universes, bro. And, oh, it was sick. All the red rangers were together. All the blue. Oh, bro, it was so sick. Hey, which ranger color is your favorite? If you say green, it's only because of Tommy. Every second it first hit the airwaves, the series became a financial marvel that was followed by many for years and years. People would make fun of it, sure, but the series was undeniably a titan for a television bro, it IP. Was dope but as then, hell. at some point in its run, the series dropped off, both in terms of show quality but and when? popularity. But when? Now you're probably wondering, when did this happen? I think it was during Nickelodeon when they had Power Ranger Samurai. I thought it was terrible. Why did this happen? The choreography. Has the show made a comeback? Can it make a comeback? To answer all of those questions, I present the history of the series in the rise and fall of Power Rangers. All the way back in 1975. So, we're going to fast forward. Uh, we already know the 90s was fire. I mean, you got your boy Tommy. You got, you, you, yeah, we're going we to fast forward. What is this? Many don't. But it's. Like, everybody pretty knows widely this agreed upon that this style isn't what makes people fans. And I think that's pretty evident because compared to a lot of other pop culture phenomena like Transformers or Pokemon, kind of be with Power Rangers forever. But with toning down and new additions to the style, Power Rangers found a great way to execute its concept into a show. Therefore, Power Rangers wouldn't turn back for a while, and this was accepted as a natural evolution. The Saban team wasn't quite done with Power Rangers yet, though, as they had one Yeah, more here we go, Gen X. Let's go, SPD. Power Rangers. Hold on, let's I'm go back sure. a little bit. Okay, my favorite Power Rangers is, is Mystic Force, Ninja Storm, SPD, Dino Thunder, uh, and the original 90s was pretty good too. And um I think that's about it. I think those are my those are my favorites right there. Go go Power Rangers is pretty good. The series ever needs you again, we can count on you to make great shows. Right? Right. The Disney era. This is, sir, this is the best era. Wait, when did when did Mystic what Mystic Force was during Fox, right? I don't know. I think Mystic Force was during fire, bro. Mystic, here come the Power Rangers. That shit was hard. So Disney at first Look, wanted bro. Power Rangers to end with Wild Force and make money. I didn't really like Wild Force. I thought it was okay, but I off of reruns and merchandise but after finding out about how cheap filming in new zealand as opposed to california was <laughs> they decided to keep the series going to expand the television media empire to young boys yeah the first no shot crap, was California's power rangers expensive. ninja storm ninja storm you could baby immediately tell that the vibes were way different yes. from the saban shows yes. the cinematic vibe died down for a more surf up ninja epic storm early so 2000s dope, vibe bro. that was both in the way the show was written and the way the show was visually shot that said, it did retain feeling like an action hero show the way everything since In Space had. From what I'm getting at- Ooh, Power Rangers in Space. I didn't really like that much. It did pretty well, especially in the toys, in spite of only being on ABC Kids for the time being. Oh, As yeah. for its critical reception, though, During it's the era where toys were the only thing that really companies cared about. Your show could be fire, but if the toy sales weren't up, your show getting canceled, bro. It's so weird. A lot better now. Back then, it was probably somewhat well-received, but the show did receive some flack for its humor and being too self-contained at the time. But it didn't matter, because the next two series, Power Rangers Dino Thunder and Power Rangers... As yes! As yes, bro! I was, bro, I was heavy on Dino Thunder, especially when the, the Black Ranger showed up. I was like, oh my god, but then SPD came out. 
bro. Oh my god, bro. The Red Ranger being a black guy, I was like, oh my god. Even though Ninja Storm had a black guy, I was too young to really care. But when I saw the black guy was the Red Ranger, I was like, dude, that's so dope. It and then they had this whole element where the Blue Ranger, he his his father was the Red, the previous Red Ranger. So he's like, okay, well, I want to be the next Red Ranger. I want to live up to it. And then they go out to arrest the Red Ranger and I believe the Yellow Ranger. They were criminals, but then they end up joining the team. They all have their own actual powers without the suits on. It's so fucking cool. The Green Ranger, the dude's hilarious. Oh, my God. And then they bring out the dog. The dog, he becomes his own. Like, ah! Go down as some of the biggest fan favorites in the franchise. Yes! Dino Thunder was praised for not being self-contained and having great connections to the Power Rangers universe. Yes! Like as well as having the same high school setting as Mighty Morphin, but with more Mighty life Morphin was dope. It. And having characters that almost everyone just loves. Yes. SPD also did a great job making characters that were super likable and yes. memorable. And adding a big yes. plot, which made it contrast well from its Sentai, which was mostly episodic. There he is, man. And dude, I thought he... Dude what's his name officer kruger or something like that i thought he was so freaking cool and then they came out with the white ranger and he had the whole motorcycle on his oh my god bro i was like dude this is so epic i dude jet x was the shit man like bro red ranger when the red Ra when the blue ranger gave when the red ranger went down and then he gave the blue ranger his like little uh morphin thing and then the blue ranger became the red ranger for an episode, I was like, dude, this is so dope. He finally gets to live up to his dad's expectations. And then there was like an episode where I think the blue and the red Power Rangers, they like fused together or something. I can't remember, but that was a dope ass episode. Like I vaguely remember it because I was so young, but I vaguely remember the red and the blue Ranger did some type of fucking fusion. And then they became like the red and blue Ranger. And it was, oh my God, it was so beast, bro. And bro, the white Ranger, like I, they did him wrong. Like when he first showed up with the motorcycle glove and he was like beating ass, I was like, bro, this is the guy. And then for some reason they like nerfed the hell out of him just so like the red Ranger and everybody else could be relevant again. But th then Kruger came, but when Kruger came out, he's like, this is why I'm the commander, bro. Uh, Success so good, was pretty bro. high so as Dino good. Thunder had the series leap onto the multi-channel Jetix block. The notable channel that it was on that gave Power Rangers the biggest platform was the Rising Toon Disney, now known mm. as Disney XD. These two series did well in the States, the toy sales were high, but in Europe they were way more match. successful. This European really? success actually ended up being the motive for Disney to continue producing the series for so long as they were already tired after two. Now the next season, Power Rangers Mystic Force in spite Wait! Mystic Force came after? What? No! So long as they were already There's tired no after two. Way. Now the next season, Power Rangers Mystic Force, in spite of being the most Disney season yet with the magic theme. It Dude, I am so mind blown. I thought Mystic Force came out during the like the Mighty Morphin era. Then they had Mystic Force. Because I remember going to my cousin's house and watching Mystic Force. Like my cousin loved Mystic Force, bro. Like that was his favorite Power Rangers by far. I loved SPD and Dino Thunder. I didn't know Mystic Force came next. Bro, what? Bro, Mystic Force was so fire. He's in Power Rangers Mystic Force. In it spite was of being fire. The, most Disney the powers were with the magic fire. Theme, is our first critical failure yeah. that's pretty universal Wait. and still lasting to this day in what? a while. What? It's a what? People didn't like Mystic Force? Is our first critical failure that's pretty universal and still lasting to this day in a while. It's it's important to note that a lot of people that dislike this show seem to feel the effort was there, but it made missteps, particularly with the Red Ranger in his character and overfocus. Really? I didn't know that. I thought everybody liked Mr. Force. Well, everybody would be me and my cousin. <laughs> Really? People didn't like Mystic Force. There, but it made missteps, really? particularly with- Because the Red Ranger was like more focused, they were focused on the Red Ranger more than everybody else. Oh, that makes sense because you have all these other colors. So why would you just focus on the Red Ranger? Like, yeah, we all know the Red Ranger is the leader, but you don't got to over-focus on them. The Red but really, I, well, I was too young to probably care about that part. Like, if they weren't kicking ass, I probably wasn't caring, but that's not true because during Dino Thunder, I was- attached to those characters all of them all three of them and then the fourth one showed up and then spd i was attached to those characters even more i was more attached to the spd group than the dino thunder group red ranger in his character and so i guess when mr force came out i just like how the their powers were like elements and stuff like that and they were they had like their own abilities and the, the dude the combat was really good and over the the that all kind of got overshadowed from what i remember next series operation overdrive being way bigger of a failure okay 
that's probably why I don't think people don't like Mr. Force, because even I totally forgot about Overdrive. Most people for the I the don't time remember being this at the all. Worst Power Ranger series ever made. Effort was sort of commended, but I not don't really remember this. Most people saw it. Was this the one where they had powers with like construction equipment? Like one of them had like a dump truck and stuff like that. It's way worse than Mystic Force. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. That. <laughs> This hey, shit was, was ass. Sort of but not really because most people <laughs> saw it as way worse than was Mystic Force. Ass, bro. It was so fucking bad. It was terrible. Terrible. I, dude, I love Mystic Force. I don't get. I, I guess because this one was so fucking bad that people were like, Mystic Force is good. But I, I thought Mystic Force was just good. Force. And it wasn't just critical failure this time. The series was not popular. Its ratings took a pretty big dip from the last season. Mystic Force. What is this? Shares? Share? I, I don't understand what this is. And its toy sales were poor, oh, partially due sales. to the switch of Bandai America to making original American molds rather than importing the Japanese Sentai toys. This critical and commercial failure was. Wait, damn, how big was that? The American one's bigger. American molds rather than importing the Japanese Sentai toys. This critical and commercial failure was enough to piss off Disney to the point that they wanted to pull the plug on Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. As I had said, they stopped liking making the series after two seasons, but they did have a reason before to keep going the with money. it, whereas now with failures, they didn't. They declared that the next season of Power Rangers was going to be the final one, and from there on out, they would use the franchise for what they were originally right, so going to do after? reruns and merchandise. What came you after? might think that this was the fall Samurai? of Power Rangers, but that's actually not true. The next season in power rangers jungle fury surprise oh the jungle fury was pretty good it was pretty good it wasn't as good as spd but jungle fury was actually pretty good when it came down to, like combat he brought toy sales back to a good. decent yeah. level in america and a high level in europe yeah, critically fury it's one of those situations good. where it got a lot more beloved as time went on but even back then there were at least some people who liked the series unlike operation overdrive and mystic force and that counted for some hey man stop talking about, about mystic force thing. man nonetheless the money was enough for bandai to be <laughs> like please disney give us one more season disney said all right but no matter what it was going to be the last season no okay. exceptions this time this okay. next season power rangers rpm as the I totally fell off the Power Rangers train. After Jungle Fury, I did not care. RPM, what is this shit? Grand finale to Power Rangers was made by the production team to be one to remember. They poured their hearts into making a unique post-apocalyptic setting, characters with a lot of depth, and a story I that was pretty serious. RPM was made was for good? the fans, and the fans loved it, with the okay. Disney era ending off on probably the most acclaimed series of Power Rangers. Really? So I missed out. I had never seen RPM. I didn't even know this was a thing. I'm missing out, so maybe I should just watch some Power Rangers RPM to really see for myself. But if I do that, I gotta go see SPD and see if it holds up. Of course, I'm pretty sure it does. But it didn't do great in ratings and sales, but that's probably because Jerry nobody defunct and Disney not caring about the series placed RPM in a horrible time slot on ABC. Though in Europe, it might okay. be a different story. Nonetheless, Disney was done making Power Rangers and started to do what they originally planned to do with the series by airing edited reruns of Mighty Morphin. It was such a sad direction okay. to go in, and it was pretty clear that the, the franchise Morphin, was dead. When then on a nowhere like a gift from god haim saban and his new company saban brands bought back power rangers for 60 million dollars power rangers was back power rangers 60 million inflation that's probably like over 100 okay million. so spoiler alert this is where the fall of power rangers really starts to happen it'll first Samurai? happen on a critical basis and then shift over into being on a commercial basis i'm sure you're surprised so let me explain the franchise was going to re-debut with power rangers samurai and <sighs> terrible I did not like Samurai. I tried, bro. I really did try. I gave it like five episodes. I just 2011. If you remember, the latter half of the Saban era gave us- And the only reason why I gave it that much of a try because With the power concept itself, it's Samurai. So I'm like, oh, Samurai's, you know, Ninja Ninja Storm Samurai, you know, maybe, but I just Ranger Samurai in 2011. If you remember, the latter half of the Saban era gave us beloved seasons. So Wait, he put Saban's Power Ranger. Wow. Having them back for Samurai certainly gave the season some promise. The Never series was also Force. going to be the first in a crispy HD and on Nickelodeon, which without a doubt was the biggest platform of children's television at the time. So the show also had huge potential for success. So when it finally aired, that potential was definitely met. This series was extremely successful. Successful, and I am actually an well, eyewitness. Yeah. I'm sure it was successful because so many people were watching it. That as this is the series that got me into Power Rangers, and I vividly what? No, dude. 
I can't believe, am I the only one that didn't like Samurai? Ain't no way. I really remember it being the main obsession of everyone in first grade at the time. Never mind, not everybody in first grade liked it. <laughs> But in terms of show quality, it did not meet expectations at all. Now, some people like Samurai, so keep in mind that nothing is objective. And there yeah, were yeah, some sure. aspects of praise. I mean, some people hate SPD. They're wrong, but there's some people that hate Mighty Morphin too. They're also wrong. Is that it got like the mega mode suits in the cockpit but it gets criticized for the majority of people for bringing on an aspect of laziness in this case it mostly has to do with it in comparison to its sentai counterpart the show on its own felt kind of bland and like it was missing something to a lot of the people acting was and that really gets amplified when looking at shin kenjir now there have been series like There's jungle that. fury and time force that have been similar to their sentai counterparts but it was more accepted before samurai because they would be like alternate takes of their sentai with new characters and whatnot samurai though literally just felt like a water down version of its sentai from the characters to the plot twist they had similar ideas but slightly downgraded to make them less impactful on top of this we were also starting to feel saban's mighty morphin nostalgia there was a way higher level of cheese and bulk added in for basically no reason and nickelodeon also started up the very unwelcome trend of super seasons with the series being split into samurai and super samurai airing across what two different years this? but hey they didn't have much time to produce this season after the buyout i'm sure it could get way better next season what ended up happening is the poll Polar opposite. The next series, Power Rangers Megaforce, might have gone away from being too similar is. to its Sentai counterpart, but it bared the laziness and made it ten times worse with no life put into its. Everything after Samurai, I'm the only thing I remember is when they did a Power Ranger movie that was like, and like all the suits looked weird. Characters, no attention to detail and making sense out of anything in the series, and handling the anniversary stuff Let's on its shoulders for the 20 year celebration horribly. On top of that, it had the Mighty Morphin nostalgia that Saban was feeling take much greater effect, with the series diluting back from the evolutions made in space to the MMPR sitcom style. And the Super Season problem was made even worse as they haphazardly adapted two different Sentai for Megaforce and Super Megaforce. All of this made Megaforce what? the textbook definition of a kid's show that underestimated the intelligence of kids and didn't care about fans mm. and the consequences were a notable dip in popularity from samurai and this season easily being the most hated of all of the power rangers seasons <laughs> by the fan base fortunately it seemed like power rangers was looking to combat this power rangers dino charge came next and seemed to fix everything what with interesting dino characters charge? and character premises an adventurous vibe coming back and the likable type of power rangers cheese replacing the cringy one made it feel like saban once again understood what made power rangers great through all of those years and the few things that people People liked hey, about the series recently effects. like the cockpit modes from samurai were brought over to dino charge as well popularity amongst kids and approval by the fandom rose so then dino charge marks the end of the fall right unfortunately not dino charge is actually still a part of the fall this Damn. is because it was only the start of dino charge that was this way dino supercharge greatly affected the reception and popularity of the show some people still liked it but a lot of people felt that the characters downgraded for the worse and laziness at least to an extent was re-embodied with the finale often being cited as one of the most poorly thrown the together hell? moments in power rangers and from what i'm getting at the toy sales fell in the second half yeah, so in spite of the strong the start companies. dino charge was yet another in this dark era and what is arguably the steepest part of this drop comes next yeah. in 2017 saban has the series venture into power rangers ninja steel and the power rangers movie so this bro i saw this and was like what the hell what is this and then they came out with a mobile game and I played the hell out of the mobile game because I loved it. Some people liked the movie and some didn't, yet it actually achieved making Power Rangers the number one best-selling action figure brand again. That should, in oh. theory, be a big deal for Power Rangers, but it wasn't. Box office earnings did matter quite a bit for this movie and it didn't come anywhere close to what was expected. Gross 85 million United States and 57 million other territories, 142 million, 100, a budget of 100 million and 42 million, that is not a dis yeah, yes, profit, but it's, it's not a lot. Expected. And Ninja Steel, <laughs> which at the end of the day was as important for Power Rangers as the movie completely bombed in all regards. The toy mm. sales were poor, the ratings dipped below a million viewers, which was absolutely horrible, and most people felt this show reached lows that were almost as bad as Megaforce. It was yet another show that was lazy, cringy, didn't care for its fans, and treated kids like idiots. That action figure stat was simply not enough to counter all of this. As such, Bandai gave up merchandising rights of the series, and Saban gave up ownership of the series, both Damn. going to Hasbro for $500 million dollars the hasbro era i don't know anything about okay this. so whether or not we're still in the fall of power rangers is debatable uh, in terms of the two shows themselves there's definitely been a change in vibe from the neo two. saban era some people like beast morphers and dino fury for the power rangers lore another dino characters oh while God, others hate lazy. them for being too bland and relying too much on lore 
Ratings went extremely bad, but just like RPM, it was a time slot issue and Nickelodeon is a dying channel anyways. There hasn't been any solid toy sales data from Hasbro, so that area is kind of unclear, but I can't imagine they'd be any good. With Power Rangers Cosmic Fury around the corner, we enter a new horizon. Oh, this, they're the still making of the Power show Ranger? being a Dino Fury sequel has Another Dino, response. bro. We yes. Don't know the bro, you've had four Dino themed Power Rangers. I'm thinking whoever likes Power Rangers just like dinosaurs extent of that or what the season is going for aesthetically so there's a lot of uncertainty they about good, whether this season good will be good uniforms. or not it's also the first fully netflix season which puts it on a pedestal Ooh. as the make or break to the popularity of power rangers going forward really? what will happen to the franchise we can only Might hope for the best i'm toki rider go and i'll toki toki rider go good job bro this is a good ass video even though i skipped the first part that means you can go click the link in my description and watch the full video go watch it it's a good video i enjoyed it yeah, that's about it. I mean, honestly, what are your favorite Power Rangers? I always thought people like Mystic Force. If you didn't like Mystic Force, can you tell me why? Like, why didn't you like Mystic Force? Was it the characters? I mean, he Tokigo already said it's because the Red Ranger was like the main thing people really cared about, but I don't, I don't remember. I was too young, I guess. I don't know, but I was totally shocked finding out Mystic Force came out after SPD. I, I totally don't remember that. <laughs> but anyways, it's your boy Miss Man. Comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.